morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be sharing with you five small changes that I made in order for me to be successful on losing over a hundred pounds so I have lost over a hundred pounds following the ketogenic lifestyle and during that time of losing over a hundred pounds I actually made quite a few changes obviously um, mainly obviously with my diet and I went keto and changed that and that was a huge huge factor but today I'm not going to be talking about like obvious changes that you make during your weight loss journey I'm going to be talking about the little small changes that actually wound up being like a big change in the end but just by changing these small little things you can make a huge impact on your weight loss so let's get into the video all right, so the first change that I made is I actually concentrated on weight loss. I made it a mental, as the saying goes, mind over matter. And no, it's such a small thing, but it actually turns out to be a pretty big thing in the scheme of weight loss. So when I started losing, I actually changed my mindset. So I changed my mindset in order to um, concentrate on weight loss that was my goal I had set my mind to weight loss I have done this so many times and lost weight so many times that this was going to be the last time and I even said that probably two or three times prior but this time I was just fed up I'm getting older I have learned that this is definitely a life child a lifestyle change and I needed to really concentrate on my weight loss so it became a mental thing for me um, I guess it is kind of a big change but it just takes such little effort to actually change your mindset and just to change your mind and concentrate on weight loss so it's really only that you started just kind of flipping a switch and honestly the weight started dropping off of me once I made that mental switch it was like when I was ready and I put my mind to it it happened so easily for me honest honestly so this kind of went with everything that I did on a daily basis so from making my meals from going out doing exercise I just really really concentrated mentally on losing weight and that is what got me to lose the weight fairly quickly in the beginning and like I shared in a video um, one of my last videos actually that I shared was how I lost over 10 pounds in two weeks I will link that video here so that you can watch it um, but the weight did fall off really really quickly in the beginning and of course it does for everybody but I feel like I was constantly losing for quite some time in the beginning like probably I didn't hit my first plat plateau until like three months in I was constantly losing every week and that was just from doing the simple task of changing my mindset they also another saying that I love is change your mind change your life and I 100% believe that you can put whatever you want to do you can change your mind in order to accomplish that task so whatever it is maybe it's not even weight loss maybe you're at your goal weight maybe there's something else um, that you do want to change in your life um, mind over matter definitely 100% suggest changing your mindset don't fall into those negative um, traps don't feel negative about yourself don't feel that you can't do it and not succeed you can you really really can and a mind over matter you guys please just create a positive mindset that you can do it no matter what weight you're at at what age you're at it does it, it weight loss does happen at any age for any weight you can do this and just by changing that mindset you can lose the weight so another goal that I actually started doing and um, I kind of observed other people when I was out and about as far as eating at restaurants and such was I started eating and feeling like a skinny person I know it, it sounds kind of like um, sounds I don't know what the word is for it but it's true you have those people that are just naturally skinny whether it's their metabolism the healthiness that they're like they're eating so healthy or they're working out or whatever it may be but I really started observing 
how they were eating and how they were approaching things. And to be honest, they found more gratitude in other things than eating. And I really, really concentrated on that. So um, I'm, I'm surrounded by a lot of people that are just naturally skinny. And I kind of observed them and what they were doing and what they were eating and how they stopped eating when they were full and you know it's just those little things that you kind of observe and learn from um i'm kind of a visual person so for me um like hearing people talk about like well why can't you just stop eating when you're full or why do you have temptation why can't you just have one you know all these things that i constantly hear but it's it's not that easy right and if you're not that person and you have never been that person it's really hard to grasp on when to stop eating and how to find gratification and other things other than reaching for food so i tended to watch um thinner people and to see what their um their what their daily routine looks like right and how they kind of presented themselves and it really helped it honestly really helped because i concentrated more on other things than on food because that's what that's what they were doing they were finding joy in you know getting active and you know um, only eating like like salads and eating healthy things that made them feel good not them they didn't they weren't eating things that made them feel crappy afterwards like even though they didn't even have a weight problem they were still eating very very healthy so that was one thing that I kind of looked at and observed and noticed that people that were thinner and skinnier in general um, they were they were living their life like they were living their life and they weren't concentrating on food and gorging themselves and you know they were just enjoying every minute of the day I feel like I everybody has a story but I'm just saying this is from my observations and from what I learned so um so i started implementing those things and it really worked it really really did work so i suggest you kind of pick up maybe on others um on what they're doing how they find gratification in other things other than food and just realizing that you know there there is a life to live out there and uh, just kind of making those observations in other people to help you succeed so a huge part of my weight loss actually contributes to other youtubers that i watched when i was losing weight so i loved youtube i loved watching youtube um you know when i first started my weight loss journey and i watched a ton a ton of other youtubers just like you're watching me now i picked up on all of their tips i watched what they were eating in a day i followed some recipes i even made some of their recipes that they were having um and i researched i did a lot of things online i actually i'm not a big book person so i tend to go towards like the youtube or the uh, google but that is a huge part of actually how I succeeded in losing over a hundred pounds is I picked up on what other YouTubers were doing and what they were eating. And, you know, I always thought that if they could do it, then so could I, right? Here they are presenting themselves to the world, essentially, on a social media platform. And they were sharing all of their tricks and tips um, that they implemented when they lost weight and I thought you know what I can do that I can totally like do what they're doing they're human just like me and you know they're not doing some sort of scheme as far as like diet pills or extreme dieting like liquid diets or anything like that and with my IBS I was thinking I can definitely do what they are doing with keto and how they are eating so i picked up on what other youtubers were doing i picked up on uh, the recipes that they were sharing and that played a huge part it was probably number one actually and that really really helped me to keep going and keep me motivated right um, even for myself as a youtuber now i don't consider myself as an influencer but I definitely feel like I, I play a part. I, I genuinely want to help people that are struggling with weight loss. And that's why I share a lot of like what I eat in a day, a lot of recipes, a lot of the meals that I ate when I was losing weight and things.
things of like exactly that what I was eating to lose weight and you know those sort of videos is what helped me get to where I'm at today and that's why I do a lot of those videos on my YouTube channel because I want to help others succeed I'm hoping that I always say at least if one person takes something away from my YouTube channel that I'm doing good in the world because if I can just help one person out there it makes me happy so I definitely encourage you to watch and find other youtubers that are um, doing keto that have succeeded in keto there is a lot of them out there that I follow religiously there is keto in the chaos Daniela diaries uh, there is so many that I follow out there and that I absolutely love and I have been watching since even prior like when I first started keto so prior to me even starting YouTube and that's what helped me be successful so I highly encourage you to if you haven't already and I'm sure a lot of you are following other youtubers but um, there's there's so many out there and there's a lot of channels that share only recipes which was very very helpful for me as well so highly recommend going to support all of your favorite keto youtubers I also celebrated my NSVs. So NSVs is actually non-scale victories. Highly important when you are in a weight loss journey because not, only, not always will you see a drop on the scale, unfortunately. I wish it worked that way, trust me. But there are some weeks that you come to a plateau and you get very, very frustrated and you do feel like going for that fast food. You do feel like eating those donuts. I, prom I promise you're not alone by having those feelings, but um, the whole thing is, is that you need to celebrate those non-scale victories. And by what I mean with that, your pants are fitting looser. You can fit into a shirt. It's not as tight around the chest area, or you can get it on easily. Um, you know, all of these different things, you can go up a flight of stairs. You can, there's tons, you can walk faster. You can walk your 30 minute walk at ease without losing your breath. There's so many NSVs that goes along with weight loss. It's not just about the scale. I know we use that as a tool in order to be successful, but that's not the only reason. Think about how your body can move more easily you can accomplish the things that you weren't able to accomplish 20 30 40 pounds ago you need to still celebrate those small little things and those things add up to a huge a huge part in the end because all of those accomplishments along the way help you succeed just in general and overall health right sometimes you know a lot of people it's definitely weight loss I think is different for everybody um, for me a big a big part of it was I got put on high blood pressure pills and that was only a couple of years ago when I got on high blood pressure pills and I was 42 at that time and I thought I am way too young I am way too young way too young to be starting high blood pressure pills because then the next one is high cholesterol pills and so on and so forth right and something had to be done I was at my end and um, I was starting to gain back all of the weight that I had lost previously on Weight Watchers and carb cycling and you know I just had to kick it in the butt and that was my reason to start keto and for that reason alone health wise it really wasn't a vanity thing don't get me wrong that definitely is a perk um but you know i was married i had my kids already i'm you know in my 40s and the whole point of like the whole looks feature was was not my first priority to reach it was my health it was definitely my health i wanted to not be on pills as young as i was i wanted to live a healthy life i wanted to be there for my kids for my grandkids you know i had so many health priorities that i wanted to take care of i have severe asthma i've had eczema i have allergies all of those things played a huge part as well i found it hard to breathe hard to breathe walking up my stairs coming into my house which was only seven steps you guys you know there was there's way more important things to weight loss than just the vanity side of things and to look good in a bikini or you know to look good in those size six jeans or whatever your your you think that your goal is there's so much more than just that it, it definitely plays a part 
but I want you to take note health-wise on how you're feeling when you're losing weight, no matter what it says on the scale. How are you feeling? Are you having more energy? Are you able to walk longer? Are you able to walk, period? You know, there's so many things that are on the positive note uh, to take note of on your weight loss journey. So I want you to make sure that you're celebrating those NSVs and make sure that you are celebrating in the right way, not with food. <laughs> Take yourself for a pedicure, go on like a mini little vacation for a day or a day trip and celebrate those NSVs. And then one of my final tips that I can give you and one of the small changes that I made this go around in my weight loss journey was I started living. I started living every day. In the past when I have done uh, diets, I stopped living. I kind of didn't go out to eat. I concentrated on walking and weightlifting and I really went to the extreme of my diet and my calories and I can't live the rest of my life like that. I needed to, to live my life and to live it every day happy right like i i i felt like i was trapped thinking about it now at the time i didn't realize that but um i was trapped in i was only at home i had a, a routine that i had to do every day and that was i was either walking or running or biking to the gym which is about five kilometers away i was going there i was working out i was strength training i was even going and doing some more cardio on the bike or on the treadmill there it became an obsession and it was to the point where i had my calories down 100 percent like there was not a morsel of food that wasn't accounted for and you know it that wasn't living in in my eyes anyways that's that's not living it was to the point where i wasn't going out for dinner with my husband because i couldn't count calories then i didn't know what food they were like what ingredients they were putting in the food what additives oils butters everything like that i couldn't keep track of that so i was saying I was saying no, like I was saying no to Jimmy. I cannot go out with you for a dinner. Um, you know, and sometimes even ice cream, an ice cream date. And you know, like you have to you have to live, right? You have to live in this world till whenever God decides you know that your life on earth has ended. And you want to enjoy your life. I, I want to go on holidays. I want to go out for dinners. I want to enjoy time with my family and my girls and live a life. If my girls want to go out for ice cream, I'm going to say yes. Those moments won't last forever, you know. And, you know, especially even if you have grandchildren, right? And they ask you, Grandma, can we go out for an ice cream? You know, like you're you're gonna sit there and not have any ice cream and start that whole process on explaining to your grandchild why you're not having ice cream when they're two, three, four years old. Like, you know, you have a life. You have a life to live, and I encourage you to start living that life. You know, make the right choices when possible. But you know what? A life, living a life, is more important than dieting every minute of every day i promise you i've been there i've i've done that way and it did not work <laughs> i suffered my family suffered my husband suffered my <clears throat> my everyday life suffered um because then you're constantly thinking about food and you're constantly thinking about those things you know um i know i said at the beginning that i kind of concentrated on weight loss i'm not talking about like every minute of every day is as accounted for when i when i said that i meant like as a mindset i don't mean to become obsessive <laughs> i want to make that clear um but and that's what i don't want you to become i don't want it to become obsessive where you're not even living your own life anymore right you're you're living through you're living through your diet if that makes sense um so please just make make sure you stop and smell the roses and don't don't give up those opportunities that arise. You know, those those opportunities don't arise all the time. Like, I know what, not with me. Jimmy doesn't ask me to go out for dinner every night. Um, but then that way it also, it's also special when that happens as well too, right? When we go out for dinner and Jimmy says, do you want to have a date night? Yeah, for sure I do. Like, you know, spend some time with Jimmy and go out for a nice meal and 
you know, really, really take advantage of the, those moments or even a movie night. You know, our theaters have been closed here for so long, but you know, that theater popcorn, like, it is the best, right? And however many times that I actually go to a theater, even prior to COVID, was probably like maybe two times a year when Jimmy has asked. And I don't want to give up those times just because I can't resist the popcorn or I can't resist all the, the goodies that they have there. You know what? Take your own snacks if you're really, really worried about it, right? Um, but, but start living a life. And I promise you, when you start living a life, things will fall into place as well, right? Uh, it kind of goes with the third, first thing that I mentioned with the mindset. Um, but please just, just live your life and don't give up on those opportunities to take that moment with your husband, with your kids, or with even your grandkids. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope some of these small changes that I made during my weight loss journey help you in order for you to be successful. And they're only small little things, but the small things add up to a big thing in the end. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.